Now it's time for Cat Chat with your hosts, Nate and Mike. Oh, hi, and welcome to Cat Chat, the show where we chat about cats. I'm Nate, and this gentleman here beside me is my partner in cat, Mike. Hi, Nate. Hi, Mike. Mike, now let's get down to brass cats. <laughs> you have four cats, am I correct? Just two. Two cats. And their names are... Benji... Animal... Benjanum... Liney, uh-huh. as in Line and Google. Mm-hmm. And Dick Cheney, mm-hmm. as in... I think we brought a picture in. Do, when did we get that up? Oh, cute. <laughs> uh, so do you have any cute stories about them? Or Totes. Sweet. Uh, Totally. Dick is quite the character. I mean, he's fat and he's a bully, but he's also very nervous and scared. He has this thing that he does. He's obsessed with food, and when he wants his food, he lets people know. He, uh... So what he does, and he did this a lot more early on, like he would hop into bed or on a chair or wherever people were and sort of climb on top of you and boop you. So he would go like this to your, uh, 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 to your head until you woke up or, um, so we learned to shut our doors at night and stuff because he would, we'd wake up to getting food. Because he didn't want to give him food. Yeah, obviously. Now that is adorable. <laughs> it reminds me of a story, Mike. A story about my cat. You have... Do you have cats? Yeah, I have two cats, actually. Um, thanks for asking. Uh, I think we have a picture of them, actually. Do we? Can we get that up on the... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there they are. How cute. What's your story? Oh, um... Well, I'm glad you asked. So this is another story about Sachi, my big, my, my big kitty. Uh, a couple of years ago when we lived in Portland, we didn't have a car. So when I needed to take him to the vet, he was too heavy to carry. It was like a mile away. I'd put him in the carrier and then I'd strap the carrier with bungee cords down to a skateboard. I think we actually have a clip of this. Do we? Could we get that on? Yeah, there. And, uh, oh, that's adorable. And he, uh, he wasn't super happy about it, but we would uh, just tread all the way to the, uh, to the vet. Sachi, I think, was a little conservative. Um, didn't Like, he had Ollie, of course, and stuff like that, but he didn't like any big... A like, kickflip's not cool because, which we figured out, the carrier's actually strapped to the board, <laughs> so if you do a kickflip, he's all cattywampus. Um... <clears throat> And the vet techs thought it was real, real, real funny, real cute, and uh, the skater kids thought it was real uh, uh, rad. I think, and frankly, so did I. It's a pretty cute story. Was that sarcastic? Um, no. Uh, it was just a cute story. Okay, because I thought you were being sarcastic. We'll be right back after this short break. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Welcome back to Cat Chat, the show where we chat about cats. Welcome back. Now it's the time of the show where we plug our noses. And scoop the letter box. The letter box. Today's letter comes from Kyle Hampton in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. He writes, 
Dear Cat Chatters, I've been wondering this for a long time. Maybe your researchers can finally get me an answer. Who's the cutest kitty in the whole wide world? Love the show. Kyle, you've come to the right place. Our research team really dug into this one and came up with an answer. Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney is the cutest kitty in the whole wide world. Well, that's all we have time for in Cat Chat. Thanks for joining us to Chat Cats. I'm Nate. And I'm Mike. Y'all come back, meow. You hear? <laughs>